For breaking news, Mike Pence landed in the New York area today thinking he was Donald Trump's vice president pick. Tonight, we're learning that's not necessarily the case after a stunning statement from Trump. We'll have full team coverage of these latest developments surrounding Trump and Pence, but we begin with Paris Lubell in the newsroom with Trump's apparent indecision. That's right, Todd. The stunning comments coming this evening after Mike Pence was already on the ground in New York. Now, Trump was being interviewed over the phone on Fox News this evening. Greta Van Susteren first asked him about his opinion on the attacks in France. He says, it sounds like here we go again, and we're living in a whole different world, and there's no respect for law and order. Now, during the interview, Greta asked him about his VP pick, and here's what he had to say. There's nobody that agrees with me fully on anything. There's always going to be somebody where they disagree on a border or they disagree on a Muslim ban or they disagree on something. So I fully understand that, probably less with Mike than most. You know, I have, but I haven't made a final, final decision. Now, ABC News today confirmed that Pence got a call today for the VP job, accepted it, and got on that plane to New York. So when's the big announcement coming? Who knows for now. Todd. Paris, thank you. Big news tonight. Donald Trump has suspended his vice presidential announcement that had been scheduled for tomorrow. Trump is postponing that announcement because of the terror attack in France that has killed at least 80 people. Tonight, RTV6's Rafael Sanchez is live in New York covering Mike Pence and Donald Trump as Trump's vice presidential selection all of a sudden unclear. Rafael. Uh, Todd, good evening. Trump Tower is where Donald Trump announced his presidential campaign. This building right behind me, and as you just mentioned, he's postponing the naming of his running mate, whom we presume is Governor Mike Pence. The, di the day and time, new time, has not been set. At the, me at the same time, we also talked to a Hoosier family about their thoughts living in the age of terrorism. The Norris family from Parker City, Indiana, are heartbroken to hear about the latest terrorist attack in France. It brings personal safety home. As it's becoming more and more relevant as days pass in not only our country but other countries. And coming here to New York City after the 9-11 attack, I was a little apprehensive and it does make you have to be a little bit more aware of your surroundings. They were concerned about making the trip to New York City, considering what happened here in 2001. So they packed and came in in an act of defiance. They say they will live and not surrender to fear. I think we just got to live our lives and just like she said, be aware of our surroundings. If you see something, say something. You know, I, I just don't think we can change. We can't allow them to have us change because if we do, then they win. We got to keep going forward. Back live here outside of Trump Tower on Fifth Avenue. We should point out that we'll hear more from the Norris family tomorrow morning during Good Morning Indiana. We should also let you know that the governor, Governor Pence, has released a statement regarding the attacks in Nice, France. He says, in part, as we mourn with the people of France, we must bring to justice all those responsible. We'll continue to follow this presidential Republican campaign throughout the evening. I'll have any breaking news on the RTV6 app and have live reports beginning tomorrow morning on Good Morning Indiana. We are live here for you in, in New York City covering the Trump-Pence possible ticket. Live from New York City, Rafael Sanchez, RTV6. Rafael, thank you.